It looks like an ordinary transportation container. And yet it houses a sophisticated robotic greenhouse that, according to its developers, can guarantee the sustainability of European forests. How? To find out, we've travelled to northern Italy. At this nursery for trees, hundreds of baby oaks, beeches and pines are carefully being taken care of. A constant movement of trays guarantees an average environment equal for each forest species, almost impossible to be obtained with ordinary growth chambers, according to researchers. We have very different environmental sensors, both inside the container and inside the growth chamber itself. These sensors monitor temperature, humidity and carbon dioxide. With the computer software, we can control the rotation speed inside the growth chamber and move the robotic arm. Optical sensors and a stereographic camera embedded on the robotic arm provide scientists with information used to assess the baby tree's health and evolution. With the cameras in the robotic arm, we can monitor the tree's growth, even during weekends with my phone, and thanks to all the sensors scattered around, I can monitor the situation, if the lights are, for example, working properly. Efficient LEDs reproduce day and night cycles that can be adapted depending on the forest species being grown. Before building the growth chamber, we made initial studies to define the right cultivation parameters, ideal temperature and humidity, of course, but also how much daylight trees need and the intensity of this light. We need these parameters so we can have baby trees that grow fast but that at the same time are robust and have the right root architecture so they can be safely transplanted to the open ground. Scientists say they developed the prototype to show plant species can be regenerated using less water, pesticides, fertilizers and energy. And for that, many different guidelines on botany and plant science has to be considered, they say. It was crucial, for instance, to understand that an important growth parameter is the tree's height. This gives us information not only about the fact that the baby tree is healthily growing, but with that information, we could also calculate the kinetics of that height. So we know important details about the speed of the tree's growth. The prototype was designed to be portable. It's fed with 20 photovoltaic panels, so researchers say it can be easily transported even to isolated regions where specific tree species are needed for forest regeneration. Each plant has specific genomes. Spanish cork oaks, for instance, are somehow different from Italian or French cork oaks. With this prototype, we can grow and transplant baby trees in each country, in each location, without risking any genetic pollution. Researchers say the first units could hit the market in around six years, with the primary customers eventually being forest nurseries, landscapers and urban planners.